Well, a good morning, Watek. Um, thank you very much for finding time to uh, talk to us and to share your views on this uh, topic. Um, I'm very pleased that uh, we can we can have this uh, conversation today. How are you? Uh, fine, thanks, Kawan, for this opportunity. Excellent. And um, so, for a start, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your technical background? Okay. Yeah, actually, I uh, I have done. I finished my bachelor degree in electrical engineering uh, at University of uh, Baghdad, and the master as well. I got it from. Uh, University of Technology in Baghdad, Iraq. And then I got my PhD in, com in computer science slash engineering uh, at Aston University, UK uh, in 1990. Um, mainly the focus of my thesis at that time is a mix of uh, image processing, parallel algorithms, parallel computing. And then I worked in many uh, uh, international universities, um, definitely UK, uh, Jordan, Australia. And then the last 20 years, I, I was working in various universities uh, in UAE. Uh, my uh, actually, uh, that's actually briefly my, my background. Excellent. Nice, nice mixed background in 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 uh, experience with experiences in different regions of the world. I think that's a really, a really good asset for us in your journal that you have seen very different societies and you live in different cities. So you have seen different issues in different places of the planet. Um, so all in all, what what do you think about the current state of the art in smart cities? Oh, I see. Uh, smart cities actually is um, is a very big, big, <laughs> uh, big umbrella of a lot of things. <laughs> but uh, because we are specialized in technologies, so I think uh, uh, the because you know in smart cities there are many pillars: social governance, uh, health, a lot of things. Uh, but uh, the the one that is fast, uh, that uh, advanced very fast is the technology. So I could say that uh, um, since the, you know, the, the smart cities uh, uh, terminologies and concept become very popular, in, I think in the last 20 years, uh, we could say and now we are in a good uh, uh, position of uh, claim that, is, that there is uh, enough um, technology, infrastructure, or advances to build the smart cities. Um, uh, like, you know, IoT advanced a lot, uh, artificial intelligence, you know, um, networking, 5G, 6G. So the infrastructure is, I think, is there. And, uh, and there are a lot of plans for uh, many cities in the world. I could tell you that one of concrete uh, 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 example of uh, future smart city, not future, near future, is uh, Neom. Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you have heard of Neom. Yes, very exciting so project, I, I think yeah. Neom going to be the first 100% smart city. <laughs> okay. Excellent. And, and, what do you think are the main barriers um, at the moment? I mean, there has been a lot of progress, but what do you think will be are the main um, blocks for progress? Yeah, as I said, you know, like you know, technology-wise, there is no barriers. The only barriers I could see is the uh, regulations, legislations, and policies. And they are way, way behind of the advances in technology. And I give you like, you know, at the University of Dubai now we are working on uh, one of the internal research funded project, uh, a group working on uh, getting some, uh, defining like, you know, legal, uh, discussing the legal, new legal regulations 
uh, for autonomous vehicles. <laughs> uh, and this is actually a very challenging. Very controversial, you know, yes. Technology is there. The autonomous vehicles is there. They are very smart, efficient, but unfortunately, there is no regulation. So if some like you know, vehicle uh, does uh, an accident, who's going to be responsible? So, so this is, I think, the main challenges in the, uh, in the smart cities. Although, in, in addition to that, governance, you know, so regulation, legislations, um, laws, governance, I think uh, they are well behind the advances in technologies. True. Um, and what do you think uh, should be the focus for our community? Uh, where should we put our energy and time? What should be the priorities? Look into the future. Where, where do you think we should we should put our effort? Well, that's what I said. I think following my answer to the previous question, I think we as a technologist expert, we should work closely with the uh, government uh, bodies and uh, the uh, professors specialized in law, uh, standard as well. Uh, there's a deficiency in standard as well. There is a lot of delays. So I think we as uh, professors in, or specialists in technology, we shouldn't be work on silos. Like, you know, we should work in collaboration with these people to help them. Because without us, they cannot issue any law. They cannot issue any regulation. Yeah. Because they don't understand the technology. So they need somebody uh, in their team who understand the technology and the future technology. So, so that will help the government and the um, people who legislator, I mean, who are issuing the laws to issue law for uh, now, near future, and far future. That, that's very much true. I think I'm 100% in agreement with you. Um, I think there are lots of um, exciting developments happening, but uh, within their own communities, and there is not enough integration. And I think probably that's that's something that, um, as you correctly said, uh, will make a huge difference if more communities integrate with each other and cooperate. Exactly. And as you said, yeah, uh, especially with uh, lawmakers, decision makers, government, and yeah, the cities themselves. Correct. Excellent. Well, um, I think that's uh, all for today. I, I thank you very much for this time. Uh, it was a pleasure to to talk to you about this. Thank you very much. Thanks for sharing your views on this, Wadik. Thank you. Okay.